Hi, I'm Ben from One Mile at a Time, and today we're going to be talking about when it makes sense to buy airline miles and hotel points. Now, my favorite part of loyalty programs is being able to get disproportionate value from points. So in the case of hotels, this typically includes redeeming somewhere during peak season. In the case of airlines, this typically includes redeeming for first and business class. Now, fortunately, a vast majority of people are not redeeming their points this efficiently, or else there would be fewer seats and fewer hotel rooms for those of us who put a lot of effort into it. Now, I prefer to collect points through credit card spend and through credit card bonuses, but one of the other great ways to earn points, especially for those outside the US who might not have access to these credit cards, is by just directly buying points. And you might be saying to yourself, well, there's no way they're going to sell me points and I'm somehow going to get a deal on it because that wouldn't, on the surface, make sense. Why would they sell me points and then I redeem them for something that's way more valuable? But this gets at the complexity and the beauty of these programs. So nowadays there are a bunch of airlines that sell miles at a discount. For example, Alaska Airlines, Avianca Life Miles, uh, American Advantage. Those are probably the three programs that most frequently sell miles. And you don't even have to want to fly those airlines, but rather this is most useful if you want to travel on their partners. So let me give an example. Alaska Airlines, they sell miles all the time for around two cents per mile or so. They partner with Cathay Pacific. So you could redeem 70,000 Alaska miles for a Cathay Pacific first class ticket from the US to Asia, and you can even include a stopover. So the point is for $1,400 one way, you can potentially book a Cathay Pacific first class ticket, yet if you were paying cash, that ticket would probably cost about $20,000. So how is this even possible? How, how, why, why would they allow this? The short answer is because this gets at the complexity of the relationships between airlines. So a lot of airlines are in alliances, or at least have partnerships, and airlines reimburse one another for award tickets at a much lower rate than what you would pay if paying cash. So in other words, when you redeem your Alaska Airlines miles for Cathay Pacific first class, Alaska Airlines is not paying Cathay Pacific the full $20,000 sticker price for that seat. They're paying a much lower negotiated rate because also these award seats come from a smaller amount of inventory so you don't have you know every single seat you can access so when does it make sense to buy miles and points i think the simple answer is with a specific use in mind i, I don't generally recommend just proactively buying points and thinking oh well eventually i'll get value out of these the major programs nowadays they sell points pretty frequently so you can often buy them just like when you need them when you're ready to go for example if you're buying american miles they even let you hold award tickets for five days so you could hold your award ticket and then buy miles and then redeem the ticket. So that's a virtually risk-free way to do it. But in general, you're gonna get a lot of value doing this if you're looking at a first or business class ticket internationally. These are tickets that would often cost 10 or $20,000. So being able to buy miles when there's a sale is an exceptional deal most of the time. Like I said, focus on Avianca Life Miles, focus on Alaska Mileage Plan, and focus on American Advantage. Avianca Life Miles is great because they're in the Star Alliance. So if you're looking to redeem for any Star Alliance airline from Lufthansa to Thai Airways to Ajiana, they're a phenomenal option. Another good option is American Advantage. It's not as good of a deal as it used to be, but it still can be a very good deal. They're in one world, so my favorite thing about buying American miles is you can redeem them on airlines like Qatar Airways, Etihad Airways, you know, some of the world's best airlines, and that presents a great opportunity. And in the case of Alaska Mileage Plan, even though Alaska isn't part of one of the global alliances, one of the things that makes Alaska so great is that they have some really unique partners. So for example, they partner with Cathay Pacific and Japan Airlines, but they also partner with Condor, Iceland Air, Qantas. So they have several airline partners that span the alliances. And to me, that's really valuable. So buying Alaska miles for a redemption in Cathay Pacific first class, for example, is an exceptional deal. The important thing to do is always crunch the numbers when you're buying miles. Don't just compare it to what a ticket would cost in cash, but compare it to what you really value that ticket at. In other words, if I really would only be willing to pay $2,000 for a Cathay Pacific first class ticket, because that's either what I can afford or what I value it at, that is the number I would go with. I wouldn't say, well, I can I could buy miles for $15,000 and I'm getting a $20,000 ticket, so what a deal. And then you're in credit card debt, don't do that. So when you're buying miles, just make sure that you buy them at a rate that you're comfortable with. So don't just say that, you know, because you're buying miles at a cost that is slightly less than what a ticket would cost in cash, that it's a good deal. It might not be, you know, for example, I only think an international first class ticket is worth maybe a few thousand dollars. I would never pay that $20,000 sticker price. So when I'm doing the mental math, I'm not saying, oh, this is a better deal than paying $20,000 because I would never pay the $20,000 for a ticket. That's I'd have to drink a lot of champagne and eat a lot of caviar to make that worthwhile. So do the math in your head, 
And in most cases, I think the numbers work out for first and business class, but everybody has to decide for themselves. Make sure you keep an eye on Avianca, Alaska, American. There are a lot of great promotions for buying points, and these can represent an excellent deal. Just make sure you're crunching the numbers for yourself because we all value this kind of stuff differently. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check out onemileatatime.com for more travel and airline tips.